Hi guys and welcome to this week's video tutorial. Again, we will be continuing on the elephant versus left cross palace cannon opening system. Uh, there's this the pot they will be introducing today will be, uh, show another commonly played variation. So without further ado, let us begin. The elephant opening, left cross palace cannon, red decides to develop the right flank. So does black, and red plays R1 equals to 2, uh, waiting for R9 equals to 8 to happen. If it did, uh, red will advance the cannon to form a blockade, which has been discussed in the previous video. P7 plus 1, black keeps the option of a ranked chariot and also inhibits the development of this horse. Red goes for the 3 step tiger. And in this board, we will be playing, we will be going over e3 plus 5, which is another commonly played variation. Now, in the previous board, black would develop h2 plus 3. And however, the, this horse would find it uh, difficult to be developed. And in this board, black would play e3 plus 5 to consolidate his defense. As mentioned earlier, uh, this opening system is more uh, of a positional opening system whereby uh, both colors will not want to have a confrontation very early on in the game and this will be the position of discussion now there are two variations that will be discussed for red the first will be playing p7 plus 1 and the other will be playing h8 plus 7 now variation a p7 plus 1 uh, again it takes its time to develop material for balanced development of uh, the major pieces on both sides and he chooses to play p7 plus 1 indicating that he will most probably want to uh, develop his horse uh, h8 plus 7 as a proper horse now uh, in this board the authors uh, introduce a quite quite an interesting move, the elephant eye horse, or abbrevi abbreviated EI horse. Now, um, this move is to entice red to play C8 equals to 6 to attack the horse, so that um, black could uh, have some very nice countermeasures alone. Now, this is a novel and unique idea. Now, traditionally, black could usually play R9 plus 1 or C2 equals to 3. So, traditionally, Black will play R9 plus 1 or C2 equals to 3 to attack. And in this board, uh, in the main line, variation A, the main line of variation A, red does play the pale corner cannon to attack the horse. Now, this would, red will fall for the trap. And although red would gain instant gratification, but uh, after an initial, uh, an initial stage of happiness uh, there will not be any more tactical combinations that it can continue with now uh, instead h8 plus 9 should have been played in this move and uh, this would be in accordance to black's unconventional elephant eye horse uh, by the way for beginners the elephant eyes would refer to intersections whereby uh, once a piece was placed the elephant cannot be linked uh, there are eight such intersections 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So let us see what uh, Black would have in store. Black would first develop his chariot to protect the uh, horse. Red would play H8 plus 9 to develop his horse as an edge horse because now developing it as a proper horse will not do much because uh, obviously Red cannot play H7 plus 6 or he will lose the cannon. And now, black would be faster in developing uh, material on this flank. R9 plus 8, black would counter by forming a blockade. Uh, red tries to fight back. Black plays C2 equals to 7, offering a trade of material. Red accepts. And black, uh, red tries to develop material from this, uh, from this, fl from this flank, allowing the horse to move. However, the, the, the rank chariot will now be prepared and, and prevent this from happening. 
So after a few more rounds, both cards would have consolidated the defense. Black would have managed to capture a pawn and also push a cannon across the river. And at this point in time, uh, as, as can be seen, there are not many good intersections for both colors to on the bot left. So black would have eliminated the each the weakness of the elephant eye horse, and uh, black would have a very playable game, which can be very happy. Now the authors commented that at this point in time, black would already have the slight advantage. So this would be variation A. Now in variation B, Red would develop his left horse immediately as a proper horse for the screen horse uh, defense, a uh, screen horse formation, and Black would adopt the double-headed stick pawns to inhibit the uh, development of both uh, the red horses. Red goes for, for a symmetrical opening with C8 equals to nine, preparing to develop the chariot. H2 plus three, and nine equals to eight. Otherwise, if the horse would play h3 plus 2 and red would have trouble developing this chariot. And black retreated the cannon to the bottom rank and this is a common, commonly used counter by the cross palace cannon, uh, the color plane cross palace cannon, whereby the cannons retreated usually to the bottom rank for allowing for uh, defense and offense if need be. Now, at this point in time, uh, this would be a very agile counter. But what would happen, or would it be plausible for black to play R1 equals to 2? Red would immediately play R8 plus 6, and as can be seen, the congestion the congestion uh, in on this flank will now become an issue. Black would usually offer a trade of material. Red would attack the horse. Black would protect it in this manner, B7 plus 1 to allow for development of this horse to further his attack, b3 plus 1. And black will still be in contention, and uh, as the cannon will now be prepared to play, c4 equals to 3. So r1 equals to 2 is also a viable option, and sometimes beginners might uh, find it very pressurizing or very stressful once, uh, once the chariot Crosses the enemy chariot crosses crosses the river and prepare to attack the horse. Now R1 equals 2 is also viable. Uh, what about C8, uh, C2 plus 2 to push the cannon to the river bank, consolidating the river bank? We will play R8 plus 4. So this would all also be okay. Again, the pace of the uh, the pace of the um, the game is very slow and and this usually would the main battle or the main confrontation will usually be found in the mid game so uh, c2 minus 2 would be a more viable counter uh, would be a more viable counter together with r1 plus r1 plus r1 equals to 2 and red would usually advance his right chariot to patrol the riverbank for again a slow but steadfast approach to the position over here now if red was too eager or hungry for hungry for uh, to make gains and if he played p9 plus one threatening the, char the chariot red would, black would immediately move the chariot develop it as a rank chariot p9 plus one and black would now link his chariots and prepare to play r1 equals to 2 to force a trade of material red would not have gained anything in the process the pawn that had crossed the river or the pawn that he had just used two moves to make would uh, become in, would become in, ineffective ineffective sorry so r2 plus 4 red this is a commonly used tactic by red this in similar situations whereby a chariot is pushed to the riverbank preparing to trade pawns and allow for development of the horse um, black offers a trade on material red accepts and red pilfers a or steals a pawn in the process now this is a very powerful move by red uh, the edge cannon over here would uh, threaten if Black played h8 plus 7, it could play c1 equals to 3 and inhibit the development of this horse. And then there are also other uses for this cannon as we will see later on. Now, 
with uh, black dust like wisp and this is another possible use of the cannon because now two cannons are taking aim at the black chariot once the chariot once this cannon moved away this cannon will be attacking the uh, chariot while the pawn the cannon mount is protected by the horse so red black would be glad to trade material and this would be a pseudo sacrifice as uh, Black would take his time to gain back lost material instead of capturing, uh, get out, instead of tra uh, trading more material. Uh, Black would counter likewise with C2 equals to 3. And Red will now try to master attack, threatening the central pawn. Uh, Red has small pawns and he will be slightly favorable, but because both his horses are undeveloped due to Black's uh, double headed snake pawns. Red would have, uh, this would be his major concern uh, later on in the game. So, uh, let us review the entire board from the eyes of black. Elephant opening, cross palace cannon, h2 plus 3, developing the left flank, r1 goes to 2, p7 plus 1. So far so good. In this board, Red continues with C2 equals to 1 to give this chariot a line of development. And this will be the topic of discussion for this spot. Uh, Black consolidates his defense with E3 plus 5. Two variations, variation A, P7 plus 1, and variation B, E8 plus 7. In variation A, Red will push P7 plus 1, and Black could play a very interesting move of the elephant eye horse. Now usually, again, usually R9 plus 1 or C2 equals to 3 is played by Black. A red fell for it, choosing to attack the horse. Now, if it, it with H, uh, this would be the recommended move. If it, H8 plus 9 were played, uh, red could be prepared to develop the chariot. And um, <coughs> this chariot could be developed as a rank chariot. And red will first occupy this very important file and thus disallow the development of this black chariot. Another option would be see, uh, what would happen if H8 plus 7 were played. Uh, black could now play, push, trade, uh, offer a trade of pawns. Let's say if red accepted, black could now play R1 equals to 3 and start an attack from over here. So the best move for black once the EI horse is played would be to play H8 plus 9. So in this board, in the main line, C8 goes to 6 was discussed. Rank chariot to protect the horse. H8 plus 9, R1 equals to 2, but as can be seen, that will be faster in developing the chariot. And once R9 equals to 8, Black would be more than happy to push the cannon across the river. H2 plus 4, Black try, uh, Red try, prepares to trip pawns to allow for development of his horse. And Black offers, it captures the pawn, preventing that from happening, and offers a trade of material. And red develops the horse. Black prevents it, and Red decides to consolidate his defense. And R2 plus 3. So Black would have a very playable game. Uh, and this main line, um, version A, sorry, uh, Black would use the tactic of trading material very nicely to gain a very uh, a nice position going into the mid game. Now in version B, sorry, <coughs> HA plus 7 was played as red chose to develop both horses for the screen horse formation. P3 plus 1, HA plus 9, red will be faster in developing the chariot and black will counter very agilely, uh, very versatile. This is uh, with much versatility with this uh, by retreating the cannon. Uh, C1, uh, R1 equals 2 equals to 2 is also sound as black will still be able to hold his own. But uh, if C2 plus 2, red can play C8, R8 plus 4 to prepare to trip pawns. So at this point in time, either, C, uh, either R1 equals to 2 or C2 minus 2 would be viable. Now in this in version B, 
R2 plus 4 was played in to counter this cannon. Now this is slow slow but step fast approach. As Black would be prepared to develop the horses. Black would not want so, so he offered a trade of material. <coughs> and the red cannon will now start to make mischief. Again, uh, as mentioned earlier, this cannon would attack the, the pawn rank. Red tries to dislodge it. Instead of C1 equals to 3, uh, black, um, sorry, uh, red decides to play R1, C1 equals to 9, adding much pressure to this chariot. H3 minus 1, simple threat, trade of material. C2 equals to 3, to, trade, to prepare to attack. And uh, C9 plus 4 to capture the pawn. So as can be seen, by the 13th ply, the situation on the board is still very uh, relatively calm. Uh, there are no major confrontations or head on battles at this point in time. So, um, uh, an interesting thing to note about would be this uh, sorry, would be Red's, so, uh, would be Black's Elephant Eye Horse uh, in version A. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like the work that I've been doing, please do subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thank you.